Oh, hello, Mr. Spoo. Oh, hello, Vincent. How are you? No, very, very good, thank you. Let's talk about the data bread market. Oh, the data bread market, is it? Yes. Calling my lawyer friends. I assure you, everything about the show aims to be very demure, very mindful. <laughs> and guess what? You can't spell demure without demurrage and force majeure. In a way, here's Wonderwall. A source tells me that crude oil traders from V who shall not be named have been singing dated Brent, will you be my wonder wall? Physical differentials are correct. And given the Libya headlines, there is genuine supply disruption in the light sweet crude oil markets. So this week in dated Brent, it was Tatel lifting a cargo each in Akafisk and Osseberg from Equinor. Miasi, Bukup. The physical is strong to the detriment of refinery margins. Forget China, it is said that European diesel demand is even lower than COVID times. Gasoline is just an embarrassment these days, or hashtag brat if you're Kamala Harris, who probably hopes to short the November above futures and the oil industry at large. Watch out boys and girls. Some of our viewers love a bit of mental gymnastics. You know who you are, so how about this? You know the age old question. XYZ happens like the Libyan central governor fleeing the country or an in betweeners reunion or the Paralympics starting. How does this affect Brent Futures prices? Now check this headline. NVIDIA earnings now rival US job support for impact on markets. Y'all know what happened to the oil market after the last non-farm payrolls. Soon, NVIDIA and Brent, it's a match. Have a good weekend. Freedom, motherfucker! Scoop you up, bitch! Mm -hmm. You better not have kids!